All right, so uh, here's our current setup, and um, much the same as the last setup. Only this time, we have a flow meter on the input, and we also have a flow meter um, that is telling us how much is being drawn through the venturi. I'm limited to the amount of air I can pass through there. This one only does four liters a minute. That flow gauge. This one here does five liters a minute. Um, that one is calibrated for oxygen, as is this one here. Um, so our supply pressure is still around 5 psi, give or take a little. Um, pretty hard to be completely accurate with an analog gauge, um, but we are around the 5 psi mark. Once again, our nozzle inside has a hole of 1.6 mils. Um, so basically the same setup, this time I have a variable resistor across our capacitor and it will be set at the 330 ohm mark. So 330 ohms across our capacitor. Um, the reason for this is because, like I said, I am limited to how much air I can um, flow through that meter. and. Um, that limit is 4 litres per minute. We will be lifting it to about 3.8. Um, this will be shut off. We can see how many volts we have across our capacitor resistor combo. Um, we will then open the Venturi and we will once again have a look at the voltage across our capacitor and resistor combo. Um, unfortunately this gauge here uh, kind of limits the efficiency of the um, Venturi <coughs> uh, due to its um, the way it's set up and the restriction in the airflow uh, through this meter. So, um, but nonetheless, we will see the effect. What I will do is um, at the end of this test, while it's going, I'll remove this from here so we have a uh, I'll remove the um, Venturi and you can see for yourself the restriction this gauge was placing on it and that may be a little tricky <coughs> in fact I'm not going to be able to do it because it's actually threaded onto there that little bit of garden tube there so no we won't be disconnecting that <coughs> But it does put a restriction on it, and if that is disconnected and is allowed to breathe freely, uh, we get even more out of the venturi effect. <coughs> so we're basically ready to go. All we're going to do is uh, lift our flow rate up to 3.8 litres per minute. Now it may sound more than, more than that, but it is not, it's because we're squeezing it through a very small hole. Uh, which of course is up the end of the nozzle there 1.6 mil and it kind of echoes inside this tube a little as well as hit the fan but anyway we will lift the flow rate up to 3.8 per minute 3.8 litres that is Okay, 
So now we're going to open the uh, Venturi one. Flying about three litres a minute through that venturi. Our other one is still on about three flying litres a minute. And we now have one point two. Three litres a minute. Push this up first. So three litres a minute is not enough energy. Coming from our nozzle, keep the fan running. Let's we'll open up the cherry. You can now see we have enough to get the fan to spin. Generated the turn of that load of profit. Now wind it right up to four litres a minute.
So there you go. Without increasing the flow amount um, or the pressure, we have um, managed to increase the output of our generator simply by um, the system drawing in air from the environment and in this case it was about 3 litres a minute um, on top of our 3.8 which um, gave us 6.8 litres a minute uh, hitting this fan blade instead of the 3.8 without the venturi open and this of course is also confirmed uh, with the amount of uh, power we are able to produce from our little generator setup um, and dissipate across that 330 ohm load so um, I think that will answer a lot of questions out there that uh, we can plainly see there is uh, air being drawn in through our Venturi, as we already knew there would be, and it in no way affects the flow rate of the air coming out of the nozzle. Uh, that nozzle finishes just on the front side of the inlet hole on the T-piece, and um, in no way is it restricted or does it hit the sides or anything of that um, Venturi housing there because the hole is simply too big and um, when we open our Venturi up of course the vacuum created behind that flow uh, draws the air in through the Venturi and of course displaces that air, extra air across our fan blades and. Um, with uh, no side effects on the input so um, that's pretty much well as accurate as we can get with what I have available here and I don't really think that it can be um, shown any more accurately than that uh, shape of the nozzle, position of the nozzle, all that rubbish um, has been suggested but the thing is even with the nozzle out in the open air you're still drawing in air from the environment um, and mixing it with the air that's coming out of that nozzle regardless of its shape or position to the blade so um, the Venturi itself just um, concentrates that vacuum in the one tube and allows us to put that to use in things like carburetors where we can draw up fuel and um, can actually <clears throat> use this setup to uh, evacuate air out of systems. There are guns you can actually do to buy that. Um, so there you go. That's about uh, as far as we can go with this setup. And um, I should say there are guns you can buy to do that, not guns you can do to buy that. Been a late night, little sleep. But anyway. Um, there we go, that's our setup, there are our results, and I think um, they're pretty non-argumentative. Cheers guys.